Oh, hey. How you doing, kids? Uh, it's me, Mrs. Medeiros, recording to you live from the comfort of my office. As you can see, I've got this snazzy new lavalier mic, but nothing to hook it up to yet. So this is how I'm wearing it, so that sound is nice, loud, and clear, even though I look like kind of a huge dork. What I'm going to talk to you guys today about are the properties of matter. Mmm, matter. <laughs> Write this down, kids. Uh, pause it. Now would be the time to pause it. Okay, hopefully you wrote down that matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. So when you're thinking about things that have matter, um, one question you might have is, do gases have mass? Or do gases take up space? Um, there are lots of things you can think of. Um, I think of horses as taking up mass, very beautiful mass. We also have to think about matter in terms of the properties it can take. Please take a second to pause and write all of these down. I will then explain them in several different videos. Hey kids, got a little density experiment to demonstrate to you guys. Gotta get in the fridge, gotta get a hold of a couple things. Head out, we happen to have this nice little bucket of rainwater that's been sitting under, under a gutter, you know. So it's been pouring out. I wanted to show you guys um, a little experiment. So we know that these two things are 20 fluid ounces. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I'll refocus it. Oh, here comes a cat. Okay, this one is also 20 fluid ounces. Okay, Diet Coke and regular Coke. We want to look at this and see if I drop them in water. They haven't been opened. Hopefully you can tell they haven't been opened. Um, but if we drop them in water, what's going to happen? I'll, I'll drop the Diet Coke in first. Okay, let's see, here we go, and it goes. All right, so it's floating a little bit, that's good. It's good for the Diet Coke. I'll drop in the, whoa. All right, it's doing something a little different, I think. Hold still, hold still. All right, so if I'm looking at these and trying to figure out the different way that they're floating, I feel like I would say that the Diet Coke is floating much higher than the regular coke. The regular coke, you guys can see the line of water around that. The regular coke is floating below the water line. Whereas the Diet Coke is staying right at the water line. It's floating right level with it, which is uh, interesting. It has something to do with the density of both of those. Let's look at these molecules bouncing back and forth, bouncing around in a space. Let's say they're all gases. Here, the molecules are at a fairly low temperature. So what happens when we raise the temperature? Clearly, temperature has an effect on matter. Measuring temperature is measuring the average kinetic energy, or the speed, of the molecules. So as the temperature increases, the speed of the molecules increases, as you saw. Make sure you take time to write that down. Color is a reflection of light. Thanks for watching this video on the properties of matter. Stay tuned for the next video, elements, compounds, and mixtures.